What's good, my fellow brawlers? Anyway, coming at you guys with another Destiny-related video. So, this is some gameplay from, of course, you know, the first Destiny, the Rise of Iron. This was, like, the only Destiny-related clip I had. I'm... To be honest, I'm a bit too lazy to go into Destiny 2 and record a clip. Because, you know, I, I just didn't have a clip, you know what I'm saying, for Destiny 2. So, I just took this Destiny 1 clip of this old mission when I was first getting the Kvostov, I believe. the Yeah, that one exotic. <clears throat> And I'm gonna talk about like kind of like my honest thoughts on like Destiny and a few other games, but right now it's gonna be Destiny 2. I'm gonna talk about. So Destiny 2, I'm really behind in it. I have not beaten the raid. I haven't done a Nightfall. I haven't done anything in Destiny 2 lately. I feel like I don't have the time that I used to have. Um, <laughs> that I have now. You know, like now I do other things and I have, you know, I. I'm just not as into it, you know, I'm not really feeling this new Destiny that much. I'm not saying it's a horrible game, you know, it really brought a lot of new things to the table. It's very new, it feels new, and maybe it, it is a bit too new to me, I guess. It's not that different from the old one. I mean, maybe like the exotic systems, I mean, it's very, you know, strange and different, to, in my opinion, from the Destiny that I know. Like how exotics, they just give it to you like that. Exotics have like the most useless perks ever, some of them. And then fusion system and all these legendary shards, I feel like... I mean, like, how do you get all this stuff? Like, it's just not that easy, I guess. And I feel like if you're behind in Destiny, I feel like it's going to be very hard for you to come back up. Like, I heard they're bringing back Jade Rabbit and all that, which sounds really awesome, by the way. Which I, myself... Um, you know, of course, I like the the Destiny exclusive, like the PlayStation. Uh, what is the PlayStation exclusive exotic anyway? That is how uninformed I was of Destiny, and I, I used to follow a lot of Destiny pages, which I think now I stopped a little bit. I'm just not, you know, I'm just not into the Destiny 2. I'm not feeling the game like how you know the Destiny I used to know, like the Year One Destiny. I feel like that's Destiny at its prime, but now it's just like I'm not. You know, it's, it's kind of complicated. Like, the exotic systems, you know, they have useless exotics. You know, it's not a bad game, as I said. It's new. It's very different, which I might still play it, but I can't see myself getting far into it and getting really into it. Now, I have had my eye lately on uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, not Modern Warfare, Call of Duty War at War 2. But also, I've heard some very bad reviews. You know, I hear his boots on the ground, people all excited. And, but I've even heard like the old school Call of Duty players, like a lot of these boots on the ground people, they complain about the game. I mean, I always wanted to play like a World War II Call of Duty, so I don't know if I should get the game or not. I think I might have to save my money because I'm also trying to get the new uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon game. So yeah, I'm not that, I guess I can't really consider myself too much of a gamer anymore. I don't really play any game except for uh, maybe like my 3DS. Like I will, <laughs> I will play Pokemon, Smash Bros. But, I mean, I can't record on that stuff, which it would be, would be cool. And I also play, like, on my PlayStation 3 sometimes. That would be cool if I could record on some of that. And I also want to start vlogging, but I don't have the equipment. And I don't think I have the money at the moment. So I would like to bring out content to you guys. But, I mean, I guess I could just do commentary with gameplay, speak my thoughts on things. And um, y'all could do some, put some comments below on what you guys want from me. Uh, any type of videos, talk about something. You know, I guess I wouldn't mind slapping on some gameplay and getting on the, the headset and just, you know, talking over it. Anyway, so I don't know where else this will leave me at. You know, Destiny 2, it's not a horrible game. I, like, you know, but, I mean, I feel like maybe Activision might be the ones that are ruining Destiny 2. I mean, I've heard some bad things. Like, I know a lot of Destiny players who, like, big Destiny players who kind of stopped at Destiny 2. Um... And, you know, but also most of my friends, they play the heck out of the game. They get into Trials of Osiris. Yeah, I'm very behind. I am very lost. I don't know if I should just get back into it and start coming back in Destiny 2. I don't know if anyone can really help me that much in Destiny 2. You know. So I kind of find it a bit pointless. You know, I might... I might even delete, like, I don't know if Destiny 1's even useful anymore. I might just delete the data of Destiny 1. Well, not the save data, because I never know if I want to get back on that thing for throwbacks. But I might just delete that just so I get other games. Because Destiny takes up so much space. I wish the PlayStation 4 had, had was able to hold some space. But I guess not. You know, I should do some more live streams 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to come out with uh, maybe any new good games coming out. I hope another you know, Battlefield game comes soon. I would like to get maybe a new Battlefield game, you know, because Battlefield's always interesting to me. And uh, yeah, maybe some more Destiny 2 videos might come out soon, but <laughs> don't expect nothing too professional or anything too formal from me when it comes to Destiny. Destiny 1, you know, that's always where it's going to be at, I feel like. You know, maybe not everything like the Taken King days, but, you know, the year one, you know, with the rare, where exotics were, like, they were useful, they were rare, they were powerful, well, at least majority of them. Sure, the game might have been a bit imbalanced with the hand cannons and stuff, but I feel like that's where Destiny was just, like, you know, like, it was fun. The grind, it was frustrating, though, very, like, probably the most frustrating Destiny era, but the most funnest, the most satisfying. I mean, I guess taking King time was kind of cool, too, but they nerfed the heck out of everything. So that was also in balance. You know, Hawkmoon was garbage after that. And, yeah, I remember my favorite gun, the Hawkmoon. I will never forget that. That glorious Hawkmoon that I now have in my vault and it's not even making it to Destiny 2. That's what kind of another thing that kind of gets me mad about Destiny series. It's just, like... You do all that work, you play the heck out of the game, and it just comes to nothing after the next DLC or the next game. It's just like, okay, you did all that work, you spent your time, you know, you got frustrated, you know, of course you have your good moments, obviously. But then, okay, but here's this new game, here's this DLC, and uh, yeah, so the stuff that you did was kind of pointless. I don't know if I should get back on Battlefield. I might want to just play Battlefield 4 or Battlefield... Um, or Battlefield uh, Hardline. I have Battlefield Hardline, but Battlefield Hardline is... I don't like Battlefield Hardline. I don't know why I got that game. Thank goodness I didn't spend my own money on that game, but... You know, there's always Battlefield 1, but I don't have the game. It looks fun, too, but I think I'll just stick to Battlefield, uh, the modern times of Battlefield, like Battlefield 4. And, um, anyway, I don't know what else to talk about at the moment. You know, I am just wanted to make this about games, my honest thoughts. So, see you guys soon. Peace out from your neighborhood hero.